there are several pieces that fit together to make your clarinet. There's the upper joints and the lower joints, sometimes referred to as the upper and lower sections in some books, the barrel, and the bell. You've also got your mouthpiece, ligature, cap, and eventually your reed. We're going to set these off to the side for the moment while we go over how to properly assemble the body. Also in your case, you likely have cork grease. This is necessary sometimes when your corks are too tight to help you lubricate the joints to make them easier to go together. We're also going to set this off to the side for the time being. Lastly, you should also have a cleaning swab, which we'll eventually show you how to use so that you can properly care for your instrument in another video. First, take your upper joint in the palm of your left hand. Make sure that your fingers wrap around so that you close this key. That helps lift the bridge key so it doesn't get bent during assembly. With the lower joint, it's usually best to put your hand like this and put this rod between the web of your fingers. That way you can wrap around and close this key with your fingers. Make sure not to put your thumb underneath this key, these keys, up against the side of keys, because that eventually leads to bent keys. So if the two joints are properly held, remember to close the bridge key, put the two joints together in a twisting motion. You want to line up your bridge keys here like this. That helps make it so that these keys work properly. Next, you can put on your bell. If any of these joints are tough to put on, we can make sure to apply some cork grease to make it simpler. Lastly, you put on the barrel. With the mouthpiece, many will find it's easier to put the mouthpiece onto the barrel without the barrel on the instrument. Next, slide the ligature onto the mouthpiece. Many people will commonly put the reed on first and then put on the ligature, but they risk chipping the reed when that happens. So for new players, we recommend put the ligature on first, but don't tighten it. Instead, loosen it. Then slide the reed in underneath from the back side so that you don't risk damaging the tip. Then you line up the tip of the reed with the tip of the mouthpiece and push the ligature down into position. You can now tighten up the screws. Make sure to only get them snug. You only want the reed to stay in place and not wiggle left to right. If you over tighten, you can actually clamp the reed too much and it hinders vibration. Now that you have the reed on the mouthpiece, it's easier to put this onto the clarinet without having to worry about separating the ligature from the reed. You're done playing, so what do you do next? Well, it's the reverse order is when you put it together. Generally, you're going to want to get the mouthpiece off of there first, and so if you're a new player, just like we did putting it on, we want to take the mouthpiece and barrel off together. That way you have a good grip on all the pieces. Loosen down your ligature and slide it off, and make sure to safely store your reed in a reed case or the sleeve that the reed was provided in. That helps keep the reed flat and it lasts longer. Next, separate the mouthpiece from the barrel. Then, separate the clarinet, holding it in the same place as you did before in assembly, closing this key and making sure you're closing here so that you're not bending keys with your thumb by holding in the right spot. Just small twist motions to disassemble everything and then disassemble the bell.